How's it going boys? I'm here with another Vancouver Canucks Legends GM mode and you guys were telling me to trade a Pilka and I went ahead and did it. So I traded uh, Luca Pilka and a couple unsigned guys, one of which was a goal, the other two were forwards for Parker Walterspoon and Linus Soderstrom. And I said in the comments that I wanted to get somebody like Walterspoon that we already had on our team and I saw another guy with the last... Oh, with the last name Watherspoon, so I'm like, you know what? I think they they could be cousins or brothers or something like that. But I uh, he, he fit the mold perfectly. He's got top high top four potential. He's 22 years old, and he's uh he's not bad at anything. I'd like him to be a little better defensively. He's got great defensive awareness, but he is only getting better. And you might ask, who's gonna take over the backup goalie position? Well, I got Linus Soderstrom also in that deal. Like I said, he is uh, 23 years old. He's got fringe starter potential and 80 overall. So he's only going to get better. And then in the minors, uh, I decide not to call up uh, Timpano or Herbst uh, just because I don't think they're ready. Soderstrom was a higher overall. And you know what? I think we're just going to roll with him in net. I want to go to a 2-1 to one loss ratio. So, I mean, uh, Nedelkovic gets two losses. Soderstrom only gets one. So, we're going to continue with that. Uh, I know Apilka was on a six-game winning streak, but uh, Nedelkovic is in there now. So, let's go ahead and start simulating. Now, I love where this team is at. We kind of solved one problem, but we kind of created another uh, Soderstrom's contract is up at the end of this year. Uh, Watherspoon is also up at the end of this year. So I don't know if we'll be able to hold on to these guys. But if we're not able to, then that's just going to uh, allow our young guys to play next year with allowing us to be really good this year. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going to take us as a team. But I think we'll be all, all right, even if we don't have uh, Parker Walderspoon this year. Or next year, I should say. Uh, even if we don't have Soderstrom next year, I think we'll be okay. And it's time for him to get his first look of action with the Vancouver Canucks. I think even, yeah, like I said, if, even if we don't have uh, Soderstrom next year, uh, Tempano or Herbst will step up. And I think we'll be fine there. And we got plenty of young defensemen. I even sent Corrado down to the minors because he is a minor league top two defenseman. So he should get plenty of playing time in the minors. And I'm excited to see where this team will be next year because we're going to have tons of cap problems again. Matthew Kachuk's contract is up. And uh, there's some other people like our entire fourth line. They were all on one year deals. All their contracts will be up. So, like I said, it, it'll be another interesting offseason for us, but I think we'll be able to handle it. We are kind of in cap hell right now, and that might lead to us trading away one of the legends, which is a very, very real possibility. And I'm open to it as long as we can get something back for it, but right now, I do not want to get rid of any of them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and decline that trade for uh, Nito. I don't know his first name. Uh, I don't want Cagliano, no. As we keep moving on through the season, we keep winning, except for that shootout loss there. And uh, even Soderstrom, he uh, he went on uh, for three games there. He went 2-0-1, two, two I thought it was. Uh, let me see here. Okay, it was, uh, yeah, 2-1. and one. And actually, Nedeljkovic did not do very well. He went 1-1-1. One, one, and one. But we are, we are a really good team, so... Even if we lose a couple games here and there, I know that we're going to win a majority of them. So I'm not really too worried. Even if we do lose a couple here and there, we'll win a majority of them and I'm not worried. So here we go. Going up against Minnesota and a 6-3 win. And so far, Soderstrom has been really good for us. So Wayne Gretzky would like to talk to us. And apparently it says he's the captain, which is not true. He's not the captain. Marcus Nasland is the cap is the captain. Don't know why it said that. When we lift the cup, you guys will see it, but he's not the captain. And uh, Soderstrom, I really hope he keeps winning games here. Even though I'd rather have Nedeljkovic winning games, 
I, I just want the team to do good, so as long as he's winning games, I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, no, I don't want to make that trade. Game against New Jersey, all right, a three-game winning streak. Wow, okay, I will take that any day of the week. Um, no, no, I don't want to go to the U.S. Let's go defenseman in the OHL, I think. Uh, or forwards in Russia. Let's do forwards in Russia for three weeks. There we go. Trying to get plenty of information on all the prospects so we can make, uh, make some good choices when it comes time for the draft. And Soderstrom just keeps running with it. Uh, I don't want this Kemp guy, I don't think. Let's take a look at his info. Ooh, he, he could actually be good for us. You know, you know, let's go ahead and claim him. All right, uh, game against Arizona. That oh, come on, decline trade and a six nothing win. So Soderstrom, he just keeps winning. That's five straight for him. Uh, he's also he also got his first shutout with us too. If he could win six, I would be very happy with that. Oh, okay, shootout loss. It's not his fault. Uh, he was solid for four periods. Well, kind of four and a half because the overtime period's not a full period, but Soderstrom has been exceeding my expectations, and if he can keep doing good, he'd be a great backup for us for years to come, so I'm excited for what he can bring to the table, too. Game against Montreal, there we go. We keep destroying the Eastern, uh, the Eastern Conference and games. I just really hope that uh, we can continue all of the success we've had this season and bring it into the postseason. Because uh, I don't want to lose this year. If we're going to win any year, I think this is our year to win it. So, overtime loss to LA, that's, or shootout loss, that's not so bad. But a shutout against his former uh, former team, the Carolina Hurricanes. Even though I don't think he suited up for a game against them, Nedeljkovic, uh still gets the shutout there. And that's all I care about. Alright, so as we approach the trade deadline, I don't want to make a move at all with this team. As much as I want to figure out how to <laughs> free up some cap space, as long as the cap keeps growing and uh, we can sign our guys for cheap, I don't think we'll ever really have too much of a problem. All right, um, yeah, let's go defenseman in the OHL for three weeks. That's all right with me. Uh, decline. Did we win that last game in February? Decline. Uh, okay, I'm not going to change it up. Go to player morale then. Alright, and Wayne Gretzky would like to talk to us. Uh, I have been proud of your performance of late. Good job, keep it up, all that good stuff. How much is left on his contract? <coughs> okay, so two years uh, for Mike Bossy, and I believe that's the same as Wayne Gretzky. Alright, uh, okay, we 7-1 win against Washington, so we'll keep running with Nedeljkovic here. All right, trade deadline. I will not be making any trades. And a shootout win against Columbus. That's good. I'm going to keep running with Nedeljkovic. Just keep getting me wins. I'll be very happy. And a shootout win against Montreal. We continue our dominance against Eastern Conference teams. And another win against Tampa Bay. Just I, I, If we can just keep rolling with these wins, I'd absolutely love that. A win against Buffalo. A uh, game against L.A for 50 wins can we do it yes we can 50 10 and 7 my goodness if we don't win the president's trophy i will be very very surprised three to one win against florida game against st louis and another win my goodness how many wins in a row is that that's five seven eight nine ten and then what the last 12 of 13 technically he's all right, I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but missing the last couple minutes, but I was just basically talking about the team and all that. We ended up uh, winning majority of our last ga few games. I ran Soderstrom for like the last five. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the points. Here we go. Wayne Gretzky with 110, Mike Bossy with 107, and Marcus Naslin with a solid 100. I'm very, very happy with what this first line did. Although, I'm going to be a little little worried when it comes time for the playoffs because depth scoring is what wins championships. Defense wins championships. 
and I'm pretty sure everybody on this team was a positive player. Yes, they were. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this team does. Uh, but Marion Orsaw had a great season. He had uh, eight more points in his rookie year, I believe. Uh, yes, eight more points. He had a lot more assists because that's because he was playing with two snipers uh, alongside him. Uh, Scott Stevens with 30 goals. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Matthew Kachuk, not growing how I thought he would. I honestly thought he'd be around 87 overall by the time this season ended with how well he's been playing, but just hasn't been progressing. Uh, Dmitro Timishov, he's been pretty good for us. Uh, he's a good, really good playmaker. I'd love to see him on that second line next year playing with Orsog. Could probably feed him the puck a little bit more. Uh, Marcus Granlin had a solid season being on that third line. I'm happy with what he did. Vatnin had an okay season. I would have loved to see more production out of him, especially being an offensive defenseman. But you know what? That's perfectly okay. Uh, Max Reinhardt, very, very good for being on a fourth line. Uh, Luke Green, uh, I wish he would have done more. He was on the uh, power play and uh, the first line, so I don't know why he uh, didn't have more points, but you know what, that's okay. Kruger, again, fantastic for being on the fourth line. Jake Bean, a solid season, 21 points. I wish it would have been more. I wish it would have been like 30-some, but that's okay, I guess. Glenn Denning, good season. I'm very happy with that. I don't know who this Adrian Kemp guy is. Who is this? I don't remember him being on the team at all. It says 55 games played. I uh, uh, it says Utica comments in the back there. Oh, this is the guy that we picked up on waivers. That's who it is. Wow. So he's been scratched this entire time. I want to send him down, so I'm going to go ahead and do that before we even start with the playoffs. Uh, Corrado, I sent down to the minors. And then uh, Parker Wallerspoon, not bad season. Seven points with us in 43 games, so that's pretty good. He did better than his uh, brother or cousin. I don't know. They have the same same last name. I don't know if they're related. You guys will probably tell me if they are or aren't. Uh, but really good seasons by everybody on this team. And speaking of really good seasons, got to give it up to Nedeljkovic. He had an absolutely fantastic season. Uh, only played 49 games, though. Wow. Could have swore it was more. Yeah, I could have. I definitely could have swore it was more. If, uh, if I had known he had only played 49 games, I definitely would have played him a little bit more. But 35 wins in those 49 games. So really, really good when he was playing. And uh, I couldn't have asked for any more from him. And then Luke Soderstrom. Uh, I don't think he had any time with the Islanders. I don't think he uh, played at all when he was with him. He just played when he uh, was with us. And he did absolutely fantastic as well. So I cannot complain at all about uh, our goalies. I think we're going to have a really good postseason because of Nedeljkovic. But yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to have a really good postseason. And I'm really excited to take on Dallas in the first round because I'm pretty sure we can beat them. Uh, Mark Messier led the league with 118 points. My goodness. Who played with him? I, I really want... Uh, I don't see anybody up... Oh, okay. Joe Sackick played with him. That makes perfect sense. Uh, Luke Robitaille, 114. Wayne Gretzky is up there for us. And uh, Richard and Hall round out the top five there. Who was the top... Alex Galchenyuk was the top guy who wasn't a legend. Obviously playing with Maurice Richard. Uh, who else was on that line then? Who else played with him? Uh, oh god, Jared McCann, my goodness. Obviously playing with, uh, who is he playing with? I know he's got, uh, oh, he's playing with, uh, Brett Hall and, uh, Luke Robitaille, is it? Yeah, so, kind of upset <laughs> that he's so good now, but you know what, uh, I don't have to worry about that. All right, uh, first in the division, first in the Western Conference by a landslide, 33 points more than Anaheim Ducks. And then, uh, yeah, President's Trophy winning team, uh, a shit ton more points than Montreal, like 19 more. So, you know what, we are a very good team. Let's take a look at the playoff tree. Taking on Dallas, got Anaheim against Edmonton, Minnesota against Arizona, and St. Louis against Nashville. 
And then New York, Philly, New Jersey, Ottawa. That'll be a good, really good series. Florida against Detroit. And then Montreal against Boston. That'll be a really good series as well. I really like New Jersey against Ottawa because of the legends that are on both those teams. And then Montreal, Boston, obviously because of the rivalry. But yeah, I think that'll be all for now then. Uh, we should have a very, very exciting playoffs coming up. I think we got a, the best chance we've ever had at the Stanley Cup. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time.